Hi. So, there's this really useful mod um, that I really like that's, uh, I think, a little unappreciated. So, I thought I'd do a little uh, video on it to see, uh, or to show something you can build with it that's pretty useful and pretty cheap. Um, this uses actually additions and a mod called Mine Co Processors, um, which is by Torocraft. And what this does is uh, it allows you to have fairly cheap redstone processes that you can program in assembly language, which is uh, well not as difficult as it, as it sounds uh, after you've gotten into it. Um, so I'll just build the thing and show you how it works, and after that I'll explain the program code. So what you need for this um, is from actually additions. Uh, a range collector, a hopper, auto placer, long range breaker, which is uh, just three auto breakers and a void crystal, a uh, sticky piston, redstone torch, uh, seven pieces of redstone, and two redstone repeaters. Um, and this is the, main, the redstone process for my coprocessors. Um, and well, we get to that later. I'll just um, we, uh, these are for these are for running it, and this is for something else. Uh, um, if you've already got an Empower in Actually Editions, you can use these. Um, this will make the machine cheaper. But it's already pretty cheap, so for the first uh, setup we'll do it without, and I'll show you later how you can put these in. Uh, you need the Empower for these. You don't need an Empower for any of these. Um, you do need a bit of power, so I'll just cheat a code generator in. Uh, maybe a couple of pieces of coal. Um, only this one needs power, the others don't. So this is the only thing that you uh, actually need to power. Um, what you need in the world is some kind of structure that's uh, five on this side, six on this side, uh, and three high. So it's uh, five by six by three. Um, and we'll be making use of the fact that if you use repeater and boost redstone power through a block like this, so I put the torch here, um, some redstone here, this is not powered now, but if you put a block next to a repeater, the power will go through it, because the repeater boosts it, and it will power the redstone on the other side. So you can use this to detect um, if a block is there, uh, if for example a tree stump has appeared, so that's how uh, we'll detect that a tree has grown. Just collect this again. Um, from the side that's five wide, one, two, three, four, five, uh, go in two, one, two, and dig this one out, two deep, um, and put down the long range breaker pointing upwards. Mm, we'll put the redstone, redstone torch here and the redstone repeater here so that when the tree grows here, this is where the tree will grow, um, the power will come through here. Of course, tree can't, uh, trees can't grow on cobblestone, so we'll have to put dirt there. So we do that by and also if you put dirt here and a tree grows and the whole mechanism gets triggered, the long range breaker will uh, also break the dirt and collect it and steal it from the machine and uh, break the machine. So we need to move the dirt off the, out of the way before we uh, break the tree that's uh, been growing here. Don't do that. So um, what we're going to do is we use a piston, a sticky piston put that here and put the dirt in front of that. So when we break stuff, we extend the piston, the, tr the tree will grow and when the mechanism is running uh, we'll just pull the dirt back, break the tree and uh, put the piston back. So, um, so you've got the piston here, block of dirt, one down, long range breaker, uh, redstone torch and repeater here 
and we need a bit of cobblestone uh, right here and a oh sorry I'm missing a dispenser you actually need a dispenser for this sorry um, the dispenser should point here and we'll have a, an, an auto placer that will point here uh, this should be set to red some more deactivation the long range breaker should be set to red some more pulse we also want this hopper and this long range this range collector we point the hopper into the auto placer and put the long range collector on top um, I've already set this up so it collects oak saplings so when the tree, uh, the tree breaks it will collect all the saplings to be replanted into the dirt we've got this so far so now we need to put a repeater here and redstone here and we need to dig out this bit And back there. Oh, hang on. I dug too much. <laughs> That's my coal stone. Yeah, we need to dig out this bit. So we can see the long range breaker through there. So what we want is, uh, we want redstone going from here, down here, and all the way to the breaker so we can trigger it. And the thing that's going to be doing the triggering is the redstone processor. Um, you will also need a code book, which is here. Um, you can program this if you type your programming code into a, uh, into a book, but that's not very comfortable. Yeah, so you can uh, put it into a crafting grid together with your process and you'll get a code book, which is much nicer to use. It also also shows you um, when you've made, made a mistake. So I'll put the processor down. And when I put it down, you'll see that um, there's a lit up bit that points towards its front. Because I've put it down this way, it's like a repeater. Um, the lit up bit will point towards the front. This is because um, it can read and send redstone power levels to its four sides and um, it doesn't go by northeast uh, south and west it goes by front left right and back so it's important to know where the front is the front is pointing towards uh, the place where the tree will be growing so we'll be using uh, that in our code um, i've already got a code pre prepared with the code that we want to use so um i'll be doing that uh, Oh, one more thing. Uh, we need some dirt. Uh, one. So this is where the tree will be going. One block. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you can block. Put any block here. Uh, I use a glass block. <coughs> Sorry. This is so the tree doesn't grow too huge and um, so the trunk doesn't get too large and somehow breaks the machine. We don't want that. Right, so uh, I'll put a code book in here. Actually, I'll put some bone meal in here. And a code book in, uh, and the saplings in here. And the code book in here, and we'll see what happens. So that's pretty nice, right? Well, let me clear the bit up. So again, this is fully automated. You just need to put in bone meal. Um, 
or you can leave the bone meal out but uh, then it won't grow quite as fast uh, what it will do when a tree grows is it pull back the piston break the tree trunk and place a new one because um, auto placers always place something if there's a placeable block and this thing will collect the saplings and just pump, it, pump them back into the placer so that's fully automated So after you, you've run this for a bit, you can just go down here, maybe dig out an access thing. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> this was powered from the get-go. You actually need to put a coal generator under here. Uh, this was powered from the start because I put in a powered one that I'd already powered somewhere else. But you can just power it from a coal generator and you have this access tunnel and you can just get uh, your wood out or just pipe it out from here. Um, before I go over the um, processor code, um, I'll show you how to modify this if you already have an actual editions empowerer, um, which is you go up here, uh, actually no, we go up from this side. You can replace this with greenhouse glass. Greenhouse glass will automatically bone meal the block that's directly under it. So you can actually uh, remove the dispenser. Don't need that anymore. What you can also do is uh, you can go down here, remove the core generator, and Put in a leaf eating generator that will actually eat the leaves from the tree you've, uh, you're, you're growing for power. And then I'm going to put the book back in. Let's just have a quick look which is the one that actually has the code. Yes, yeah, this one. I will wait for the greenhouse glass to bone me uh, the sapling. There it goes. It's not as fast as the dispenser, of course. But uh, it's free, so that's uh, that's very self-sustaining. I bone mill it so we can see the leaf eating generator at work. There we go. Now it's eating the leaves and it's directly feeding the power into the long range breaker. So this is the only block that needs power anyway. So this thing can run forever. Maybe sometimes you need to pull the saplings out or pump the stuff into your storage anyway. So yeah, this is um, a fairly cheap automated tree farm um, using a redstone processor and assembler code. So um, I will guess I'll explain the code. <coughs> Just deactivate this. Oh, hang on. Oh, don't start again. It's working too well. <laughs> okay, don't do anything, and you can just shut up. All right. <coughs> If you click a right click on the processor you'll see what it's doing you also have this manual button which will show you a quick manual and the link to the wiki which is very important um, you can also find this on the website uh, it's right here uh, this will link to the wiki um, you'll see that uh, I already talked about how this is uh, the front port left right and back ports uh, you'll have these here so this is front port PF 
right port PR, left port PL, and back port PB. And you have four uh, memory cells registers for numbers. Um, so you can put numbers into the register, which will just store the number. And you can put a number into a port, which will output redstone of that level. You can pull a number from that port, meaning you will read the redstone level at that port. And you can use this to write uh, automation code. So um, what I'm doing here is um, first I'm setting up the ports. So uh, this basically tells you, you have to look that up in the wiki. Um, the there's a, uh, another register that's called ports that gets um, special values. Um, and this sets up the ports. Um, so this means uh, move 0, 1 binary into the ports register, which will set up the port so that the front port is an input port, meaning the front port can receive a signal, the other ports can send redstone signals. This is what we want, so we can control the dispenser, uh, the breaker and the piston while detecting the block in front of us. Um, then it, uh, we move 0xff, which is um, hex notation, hey you, it's a chameleon. Go away. Yeah, that's right. Um, if you don't know hex notation, you can just keep in mind that 0xff means full redstone power, and 0x00, which is down here, um, means no redstone power. So <clears throat> what, we're going, what we're doing is we're setting up the ports so we can read from the front port and output on the others. Um, and then we put full redstone power to PL, the left port, which is this one, which extends the piston, which is what we want normally while the farm is in operation. Then we jump to something that's called farm, which is uh, on the second page. This is the procedure that runs over and over while the farm is working. Um, what it does, first it tries to bone meal, meaning it, uh, it calls the tried bone meal procedure, which is up here. With, what that does is it moves full redstone power to the right, which is where the dispenser used to be. So it tries to bone meal. Um, it waits. I'll explain how that works later. Um, and then it removes the redstone power. It just sets the right side to zero again. You can. Um, and after that's done, it will return to the point where tribomy was called. So I called it here, and then it will return to this point. What this does is um, compare the front port to full redstone power. So if, if we're getting full redstone power from the front port, um, if that's the case, uh, it will set the zero flag. If a comparison works, it will it will set a zero flag. That's just how it works. If it um, if the comparison doesn't work, it'll be a, a non-zero flag. So compare the front port. If there's check the front port if there's full redstone power, and if there is, jump if there's a zero flag, then harvest the tree. If it doesn't, it'll just go on to the next line and it'll wait again for a second, and then jump back to farm. So it'll start. Over, oh, sorry. Uh, so it'll start all over again. It'll go back up, back up to farm here. Try to bone meal, check if there's redstone power coming from the front. If there is, harvest. If there isn't, wait and then jump to farm. So if uh, if there if the comparison doesn't work, it will just skip this line and continue with these lines. So that's uh, that's how that works. Assembly language is uh, you have to get it into it a little, but it's not that tricky um, if you take the time to study it. Again, the manual uh, gives you. Uh, a brief overview of what stuff does, and the the wiki is more expansive. But um, well, it's hard to beat this for automation because you can write these little programs and uh, have something going that's uh, well pretty neat actually. So I'll continue here um, with uh, the try bone meal procedure. Uh, no, we did that. So we did that. Uh, we do harvest right. So if if we start harvesting. Um, set the left to zero redstone power, meaning the piston will pull back because it's losing power. After we've done that, um, wait for a second, and then uh, put the back port 
to full redstone power which means it goes out the back down here and into the long edge breaker so this fires the long edge breaker after it's done that we wait again um, we turn off the power to the breaker wait again just to be sure you maybe probably don't need to wait here but I like to be sure uh, and after that we put power to the piston again extending it and after we're done doing that uh, we jump back to farm which is down here and which starts the whole process over again so this is all pretty straightforward um, what I've done here for weight is um, you could yeah you could this you could do this more simply actually um, but I like to have um, I like to be flexible uh, with the time so let's put this to maybe 10 and uh, I'll put the dispenser back and the cobblestone and a bunch of bone meal okay it's set to 10 now so watch what happens it's much slower I'll set it to 2 now and it should be much faster well it's a little faster um, so what this does actually is when uh, when it's called to wait um, it puts two into the register B which is just one of the four registers where you can save stuff um, and then uh, there's just a, uh, a label where, where you can jump to um, and this DJ and Z means um, decrement B meaning uh, take B remove one for nib from it and put it back so if it's uh, 9 it will go to 8 if it's uh, 5 it will go to 4 uh, and if B is greater than 0 if it's still not empty go to wait inner so this will move 2 into B and then um, do this over and over again uh, go here decrement go here decrement until B is 0 uh, at which point it will just skip this again and return from wherever it was called like to here so um, it's basically just wasting cycles uh, until B is empty so if I put like mm, let's put 30 in here uh, let's put it in hex notation so it makes more sense actually no let's try, so let's try 30 um, I put it in here and you'll see B counting down to 0 at which point it'll, uh, bone, uh, it'll try to harvest and then bone meal again So if I take it out and maybe put, let's say, 5 into it, it'll be much faster. See? Anyway, that's how that works. Um, in case you don't want to put in the code yourself or you just want to use this farm and uh, aren't interesting in programming um, I'll put the code up on github or something somewhere else uh, you can just copy and paste into this you can just actually uh, copy and paste entire pages um, so yeah that's how you can do that um, I think that's it I guess I'll just turn this on again for a few seconds so you can see it at work Where is it On that goes 
Right, so that's the thing. I hope it's useful to you and um, maybe I've convinced you to try out this uh, redstone processor for yourself. Um, I've got it working in other automation setups that I might post at some point. Um, we'll see. Um, anyway, this thing is really neat. Uh, you should use it. Thanks for watching and bye.